friends, good morning. It is a beautiful day here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, and I am on the look for coffee. Let's go. My search for great Cambodian coffee brought me to this neighborhood near the French embassy in Phnom Penh. Unfortunately, the place I was looking for is no longer around due to COVID. So I hopped in a taxi and headed over to the BKK1 neighborhood. On the way, we pass by the beautiful river walk in the city center. There are very few tourists now, so there's plenty of space to walk around. All right, so I just picked up my first coffee of the day here at Abide Coffee in BKK1. Let's try it out. Mm, pretty good. Cappuccino. So the plan today is we are gonna go check out some Cambodian breakfast options. Super excited to see what that means here. All right, that was pretty good, but uh, I think I can do better. Let's go check out one more place. All right, so now I've just walked around the corner to a place called Brown Cafe and Roastery. Let's see what this is all about. Please get a uh, hot cappuccino. Uh -huh. All right, so this is much more my speed. Um, definitely very expensive by Cambodia standards. It was $3.85 US for a cappuccino and a water. Um, so still affordable, but uh, definitely high end even for this city. Another interesting note on currency. Here's my receipt. So I gave her a five, and this is what I got in exchange. A bunch of blue and red and orange bills. So here in Cambodia, they mainly use the US dollar, uh, except for anything under one dollar more or less. So basically the way it works is you pay them in US dollars and then you'll get this local money back as change. The exchange rate is one to four thousand. I think it's just fixed. So yeah this entire bill is worth about two cents, two and a half cents to be precise. So I'm really happy to get this stuff actually because next we're gonna go do some street food and um, smaller money for those places because they're so cheap. Wow, so I just saw a really pretty plate. It looks like it's like iced coffee cubes and then they serve it with a little carafe of milk on the top. That looks really delicious. So you can see this is possibly the most expensive cappuccino in Phnom Penh, 385. Let's see how it is. Bitter. Good. So this place, they roast their own beans here. Mm, they do a good job. Very pretty. Nutty. A little bit of bitterness, but not too much. Really, really nice. That was lovely. What a great way to start the day. Now it's time to go find some food. Good morning. How are you? All right, so I've arrived at a place called Top Donut because I wanted to see what Cambodian pastries are like. Let's go have a look. Can I get one of those? And then also one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so they've got it sort of locked off because of COVID. Um, but they've got a number of donuts here, including Valentine's Day donuts, because today's Valentine's Day. 
and I am trying out a hot dog donut and then something that looks like it has some sort of like powdered meat on top. I have no idea. Let's check it out. Thank you. How much? One ten. What? One twenty? Is enough? Uh, okay. 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 Thank you very much. All right. Now the only problem is I need to figure out where to eat these. Hmm. All right. So I brought this stuff back to my room because there's nowhere to eat there. So let's do a little unboxing. Check it out. Mmm, smells nice. So it comes with a little bit of ketchup. That's interesting, I guess, for the hot dog. Ready? Wow. These things are massive. I don't think I'll be able to eat all of it, but let's start off with this hot dog croissant thingy. Interesting. So it looks like a croissant, but it's not very flaky. It's like a little more bready. So, let's try a little bite. Oh. Mmm. Look how red that sausage is. It's very vivid in color. Um, the bread is definitely more chewy, so it's not like a croissant. It's just like got a really nice chewiness to it. Mmm. Yeah, that's like really satisfying. <clears throat> let's try it with some of the ketchup. So yeah, I mean, it's basically just like a hot dog all in one. You don't need a separate bun, got it all right here. Nice tanginess from the ketchup, the meat, the fresh bread. Mm. So good. Now, this next one is more of a mystery. It looks like it has like this um, sort of pork floss on top if it's at all like other stuff I've seen, it's like fuzzy. And then it's like just stuck to the bread with, oh, super sticky. I don't know if it's honey. Let's find out. Well, first of all, it's definitely a meat of some sort. Savory, little meaty. It could be either smoked chicken or some type of pork, but you know, it's definitely been processed, so it's hard to tell exactly. It, there's so much glaze on this thing. Let's try a bite. Mmm, oh my God. This is so gooey. The bread is surprisingly dense. It's um, not really like a donut. It's mostly air inside. It's more like a really, really solid brioche or something like that. Oh. I can't even really tell what the gooey sauce is. It's um, just sort of vaguely sweet. I mean, this thing is massive though. It's basically like two donuts stuck together and it costs like less than one USD. So I feel like you could, you know, feed a family of four on this for a day if you had to, if you were low on money. I mean, talk about a great deal. Okay, so that is my first adventure with Cambodian pastries. Quite good. I would definitely order both of those again. Let's go check out some street food. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out all these other videos from my Cambodia trip on street food.